Well, my project is on my car. I had two of my stand-up paddle boards on it. I'm going down the freeway at about 60, and they both flew off. So I had to go exit ramp, go back two, twice, and then find all the pieces. So here's the one board. You see it about nine feet of the section broke off. Here's the other right here. I'm taking the neoprene deck off and folding it back and then I'll, I'll put glass on from That's here about the tail up to this one. Pretty bad. To take the fins off uh, to really be able to line the board up. And so it's probably about a foot or so. And uh, just I taped it with duct tape, the neoprene pad, because I'm going to use it again uh, when I, once I get it back together. So I did the same thing here. Uh, just put some uh, tape right here so it, the resin doesn't fall on the key. I've got it upstairs. I'm just using one of my Allen wrenches. It, it's about about four inches but I have to bring this up I, I put it on this table I'll bring it up and then match it up then I will put the epoxy on both sides push it together and then hold it there for 10 minutes till it, till it hardens I've pretty much got it lined up uh, I think that's about the best I can do big dip there but uh, this isn't very sophisticated, but this kind of lines it up just perfect. What I did, <clears throat> I stuck a board under the rack, small board, and then extended them out so that the rocker, I can get the rocker the same. And that's about right. I haven't done any epoxy yet. You can see that it lines up pretty good. You see the, the board is is uh, it's kind of the template to line it up. So hopefully it kicks pretty soon. And we'll be in business. What I'm doing now is grinding down all the all the color off of it and trying to get down to the uh, just down to the bare uh, skin of the of the board, not going into the foam at all. Uh, but I need to take a lot of this off and grind it really hard, so when I glass it, the glass will stick. Using a screen pad but uh, I have to use it on my drill, and it doesn't seem to load up with a uh, emulsion that's dried, so this, I think this would be the best bet. I need to put some pretty good grooves in here so the glass will adhere really well. Down 
there's a big dent here that when the board hit, uh, put a big dent in there. So I'm going to fill it with uh, body filler and before I glass it. I have to sand this down really good, but I'll make it real smooth. Sand it. You can see the bottom. The uh, epoxy held it together really well. And uh, I, I got the board pretty much exactly how it was. You could see down the board. Um, so that it's not, uh, sometimes if you put it together, it could kink it up or kink it down and kind of weird, but this is really good. It came out uh, very straight, very even. Then I've got both sides ground down really well. I got to fill this, gonna make it a little heavier, but it's uh, all I can do. Glass works well if you're gonna mix Bondo. You wanna smish it together. This is kind of hard because it's old. New stuff I get, I'll, uh, it'll be quick. I want it to kick fast because, because I, you know, I'm just going to put it in there and then fill over it as well. Now that's a lot. That'll kick off in like a couple minutes. This is what it looks like, uh, pretty much filled, uh, I'm going to sand it, grind it, and then fill it a little bit more to smooth it out. And uh, you see the contour is coming back. And then when we glass it, I think it'll hold it together. I've done it before with 10 foot boards, surfboards. I've never done it with uh, stand up paddle board. With Bondo, that's uh, use that on cars to fill dents and stuff and then I sanded it down so it's pretty smooth and well it's very smooth now I'm gonna wrap uh, three layers of 10 ounce cloth one wider one here a little narrower and then uh, another narrow one and I'm gonna wrap the rails so it, it's gonna eventually have six layers of 10 ounce cloth on the rail and that gives it rigidity. That'll hold it together. Here's the bottom of the board. And actually, uh, when you look down it, it came out very true. It's very nice, the way it is. So, as I mentioned, I'll put three layers of 10 ounce, a wide one, a little narrower one, and then a narrower one. So there'll be six, well, three 10 ounce, and then I'll wrap the rails both sides, so it'll be six uh, 10 ounce on the wrist. It's 38 wide, so I think I'm going to use the whole thing. It's going to wrap uh, quite a bit, but uh, uh, I'll get it even on both sides, but uh, just perfect. So I'll, I'll trim it right here and then trim another piece and then another piece. See, I have three layers of cloth, bottom, middle, top, and then around the rails, I'm going to wrap all this same area here. I'm going to free lap it. I didn't tap, tape it on the bottom. Usually, sometimes you can tape it and then cut it when it, uh, after you glass it and, it and it hardens enough, you could cut it. But I'm just going to free lap it because uh, I'm going to put color on this and you're going to be able to see it anyway. And I'll just, The part that's going to be overlapped, fold it up so you can saturate this really good with the resin. It, all. it doesn't give you much time to work. You don't want 
any lumps underneath the glass. You want to squeegee it all out. Okay, here's what we've got. See, it's free lap there. Not bad, that little wrinkle. Get that out of there. No, it's already kind of kicked. But that's okay. The sure foreign blade will straighten that out. And then this, yeah, sure foreign. Yeah, that's good. Good saturation and uh, I'll sure form it, you'll see that, overlap it onto the bottom and then hot coat it, sand it and glass it. Okay, since I'm going to lap the cloth over this side, see how, uh, how much uh, build up there is here, I'm going to have to take that off, take that down, try to make it as smooth as I can. So I'll do it with my sure form, this. called a filler coat or a hot coat. Uh, the uh, laminating resin doesn't really dry hard. You can't sand it. It clogs up. So you put this filler coat and then you can sand it. That's what I'm doing now. Hot coating the top did the bottom. You want to do the top just as the other has kicked off and is a little bit hard so whatever rolls on to the other side will stick. If it's totally hardened it won't stick. Grinding the, grinding the high spots with a hardback disc and, uh, and then I'll sand it with a soft pad. With a block sander, I'm taking down any high spots here, so once I gloss this, it'll be, uh, be nice and flat. Okay, uh, I just sanded it uh, pretty smooth here, and I'm just going to uh, put a color. It'll kind of be like a, uh, a band around the board, and so the board is kind of an aqua. I don't have an aqua, but I have a kind of mixed a green. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, color doesn't thrill me going with this, it doesn't really blend really good, but, uh, but I think what I'll do is maybe I'll put some white to this as well. Usually when you 
when you highlight it with a different color, it uh, it makes it blend a little better. So for some reason, you know, highlighted colors that don't go together, two colors that don't go together. some separation right in here and I don't know what it's from. So when that happens you just dig into it with the brush and uh, it'll, you know, whatever uh, emulsion or whatever Maybe from your hand, you know, sometimes oil from the hand will uh, get on the board and then it'll make, when you put the resin on it, it makes a separation, so. But if you just work the brush into that area, it eliminates that sometimes. And it looks like it did this. Probably put some white in here just to to highlight the band, make it look like I intentionally made a band for one reason or another. It used to be popular in the 60s, putting a band on the board, color band, but it just doesn't go with this aqua. But it's not broken in half any anyway. See the edge here? It's a ridge. I've got to take it down so it's flat. I think I'm going to extend this white color all the way on here. Instead of it being a band, it'll... So, uh, take the shear form, shear, shear form it down, and then I'll take sandpaper and down the overlap here. I'm going to put another color on the rail, so... This has got to be flat. As you can see, it's perfectly flat. There's no ridge here. Now I'm going to sand it up to the white area uh, is where I'm going to lay the white color on it. So you want to scratch it up, sand it up a little bit so the resin will stick. So I taped it off and I applied the white so it just kind of has a nice uh, blend here. And then I'm going to uh, put contact cement here and then flap, you know, flip those over so I have the neoprene deck. Okay, I'm going to put uh, contact cement on here, but I want to make sure I get it on the right area. I don't want to overlap it too much onto the, onto the board deck. So I'll just follow that line on the inside. This neoprene back on, and uh, I'll have to clean this up. I think when it hit the road, it got all scuffed up. But okay, this is I'm it. Here for the finished product. This is it, and it's actually kind of perfect, to tell you the truth. And that's hard to get. Not being proud or anything, but sometimes you luck out, and. Yeah, it, it's really right on. So, uh, this is the best part I'm, of your board now. I'm going to try it out. Yep. I, I still, I'm going to finish it up, uh, you know, wet sand the bottom and make it fairly nice. Maybe put some little color on here because this kind of doesn't match too much, the aqua and the green. Well, here's the finished product. It is heavier, but... Uh, I think it'll cruise a lot better. You turn it over. Put a little color on the
the bottom. But uh, you can see that it's very straight. It looks it really looks perfect, actually. So kind of still kind of beat up, but. Uh, mess the tail up of this one this product uh, I had to put a nose or a tail block in foam block here and then uh, fill in all the dents and stuff and, and then in the bottom I had to epoxy uh, this area um, actually you can see it there but it came out pretty good and well actually came out really good at least I can ride it again <laughs> 